Test the claim with level of significance alpha of 0 0.001. The null hypothesis is that the two population proportions are the same, and the alternative is that the first population proportion is larger than the second. From the two different samples, we have 336 successes out of a total sample size of 367. And from the second sample, there are 692 successes of a total sample size of 771. We first are going to find the test statistic, which is z equals the difference of the two sample proportions divided by the square root of the pooled sample proportion, 1 minus the pooled sample proportion times 1 divided by the first sample size plus 1 divided by the second sample size. Finding the sample proportions, the sample proportion is the number of successes divided by the total sample size. And for the second, number of successes divided by the total sample size. Again, number of successes divided by the total sample size. The pooled sample proportion, we add the total number of successes from both samples divided by the total sample size. Substituting these values in, the difference of the two sample proportions divided by the square root of the pooled sample proportion times 1 minus the pooled sample proportion times 1 divided by the first sample size and 1 divided by the second sample size gives a test statistic of 0.9568. Again, this is a normal value or a standard normal value. Looking at a standard normal value of 0.9567 gives a p-value of 0.1693 which is a very large p-value, definitely larger than our level of significance of alpha of 0.001. With this large p-value, we fail to reject the null hypothesis.